Welcome to San Diego's most popular local morning news. Good morning, San Diego. Still ahead this morning, there's a new drug that helps women who have a low sex drive. Coming up on Good Morning San Diego, we'll be talking to a doctor from Alvarado Hospital about this new breakthrough for women. Well, Viagra has benefited men for more than a decade. Women, on the other hand, have yet to find their own treatment for sexual dysfunction. This morning, Dr. Erwin Goldstein from, is the director of sexual medicine in Alvarado Hospital, and he's here to tell us about the new sex enhancer that was really discovered by accident. It was. It was a drug that was initially um, developed for depression. Uh -huh. And usually depression drugs cause sexual side effects, like low interest. And actually, this drug improved interest, and then studies went to determine the benefits of this drug. Wow. Now, the drug is called flibanserin. Flibanserin, and yes. And it's, it's not a hormone. Yeah, this is what's cool about it. It's non-hormonal. It's uh -huh. actually, we're studying it in premenopausal women, and this would make the first drug in its class for premenopausal women who have sexual problems. So basically, this is the little blue pill for women. Well, it's, uh, it's, I guess, the little blue pill for How does it work? What does it do? Does it increase desire? Does it increase performance? How does it work? So this is a condition called HSDD, hypoactive sexual desire disorder. It occurs mm -hmm. in one in five women. It's really depressing to have this condition because you sort of love your person and you want to be intimate with this person, but like there's no spark there that, that you can't get going you showed the tree of hope and you showed the switch coming out and all i could think of that's exactly what it is in these women that the, their switch goes off they're like interested at one time in their life and all of a sudden consistently they're just not interested so this could be a pill that obviously doesn't only benefit women but it, it, it benefits men as well well it benefits women because women are having the sexual activity mm -hmm. but they're having it in a way where they're just not interested and they're doing it out of duty and uh, so it lights your fire it, it, well, this is what people say. The pilot light's there, but the flame won't go on, and, and it's really a problem. So tell us, okay, so you've, you're in clinical trials right now. Is, is this um, flibanserin uh, pill available yet? Well, the clinical trials have happened. There's mm -hmm. safety and efficacy. It, it improves women's desires. It acts on the brain to rebalance the imbalances that are in the brain in this condition. What about side effects? So the side effects are pretty simple. You take the drug at night. It's a daily drug, mm -hmm. and you uh, the, the somnolence and fatigue are the major side effects but you take it at night. So. What's somnolence? Oh, like sleepiness. Oh, okay. okay, okay. So you take it at night before you go to bed. Right. And then, so does it make you desirous all the time? Well, it, no. It, it, mm -hmm. uh, when approached, when you're receptive, when there's the appropriate situation, for some women, nothing turns on. There's, it's right. not on the radar screen, and, and they, they sort of do it out of duty, and it's really not fun. So when will this pill be available? Well, it's uh, going to be submitted to the FDA, go through the v review process. The first in class for men was a six-month review, so hopefully they'll get the six-month review, and then sometime in the next few months we will have this so drug. what do you anticipate do you think this will be just a hugely popular pill yeah I, I, I actually if it if it's successful this will be a life-changing event like birth control pills like Viagra because it will introduce for the first time in history real therapy for human women who have sexual problems and would this be something that a woman would take every day for the rest of her life or would you just take it on days when you think you m might want sex it's designed and studied as you take it every day now mm -hmm. I don't know if you would need it for the rest of your life but maybe it could rekindle things that uh, it, it's changing a, a, an imbalance a dysregulation well, in it's the interesting brain. because you know we've been told <laughs> time and time and again and I've done so many interviews with people that say really sex is all in your mind but what you're saying that it's a lot of it is not in your mind. Well, no, sex is in your mind. You're 100 mm -hmm. correct. Except, you know, there's depression and obsessive compulsive disorder and Parkinson's disease. There are imbalances of chemicals in the brain. Mm -hmm. So we're so now. So there's a physiological component. There's a physiological and psychological. It's a really cool balance. It's in the head, but mm -hmm. it may be a chemical imbalance. Now, something I learned this morning. You are a doctor of sexual medicine. Yay, I didn't even know there was sexual medicine. I didn't know. You must have some very interesting stories. <laughs> but I didn't know there was such a specialty in Alvarado. Finally, yeah. Is one of the few First in the United States that has have a, a department sexual... of sexual medicine in a hospital. Yes. Wow. So tell us about that. What do you do? All day. Men and women with sexual problems. You listen to them and you try to treat them and you try to help them? We do more than try. We have a very uh, great track record and we spend a lot of time and effort with uh, men and women. It's, wow. it's awesome. Well, very interesting. So the name <laughs> of the drug is flibanserin. It does increase sexual desire and you're thinking in six months it may be available to women. Thank you so much for this. Very good. Uh, Dr. Erwin Goldstein with Alvarado uh, Hospital. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Some interesting stuff.